So now we're going to delve a little bit into the world of academic research. One thing I really want to do as we go through our discussion is to share with you some of the interesting findings that myself and some of my other colleagues, not just at the Wharton School but throughout uh, universities around North America and indeed around the world, have found out about how the virtual world of the internet and the real world that we all live in still interacts. So let me share with you two interesting research findings. The first is to do with content. So remember I said earlier when you live in a bigger town, content becomes more important because there's more things for you to do. Furthermore, as the town gets larger, more and more websites and apps start to spring up to deliver content that is purely local. So one of my colleagues at the University of Pennsylvania did a very, very interesting piece of research where he found in the United States, for every additional million residents that we have in a city, there are at least another 50 or 60 websites devoted just to things to do in that city. So in my own city, for example, that would be something like Philly to do. In a bigger town, more of those things are springing up because there's more information to be told and there's more things going on. The second result I want to share with you from the same study is also very, very interesting. This is relating to product as opposed to information. So again, the further you live from a physical store, the more likely you are to buy from a virtual store. Now that makes good sense, doesn't it? If you live right next door to a drugstore, perhaps you can just step in there and buy your diapers. By drugstore, I mean a pharmacy if you're living in uh, different parts of the world. I'm just using American nomenclature, even though I'm not yet an American citizen myself. I thought I should clarify that. So the further you live from a real store, the more likely you are to shop in a virtual store. And for every mile of distance that increases, the probability that you go onto a website and buy those same products increases also. So those are two very interesting findings from academic research. Now just to summarize, I'd like to show you or share with you just a couple of different things that show the real benefits and real advantages of what the virtual world offers you. So number one, the virtual world offers you potentially lower prices and lower search costs. Fantastic. You can find out where all the great deals are and you can do it all from the convenience of your own home or from your tablet or your mobile phone. Secondly, if you wanted to transact with somebody in some other part of the country or even other part of the world, you can do that more efficiently. Think of a business like eBay as essentially allowing markets to be matched, whereas previously that would not be possible. The third thing that the virtual world does to improve your life in the physical world is it gives you very specific information about local stuff that's going on. So you're more able to find that great comedy club to go to. You've got better information about that restaurant in the center of your town in terms of the quality of the service and the dishes and so on. And then the fourth thing, the fourth point, is also you have much greater or improved consumer convenience. You can do the shopping 24-7, everything is transacted seamlessly via an app or via a website. So those are the four things that the virtual world is really doing for you to improve your experience in the physical world.